Grandmother, all the way from Japan. You can open it, Yoko. It is addressed to you. Okay. Will you please read the letter, Mama? Of course. It says, Dearest Yoko, I hope this letter finds you happy and well. When I was tidying my house today, I found something very special, and I thought of you. Your grandfather made this for your mother when she was as small as you are now. I am sending this special gift to you, Yoko. I hope that you will have as much fun with it as your Okasan did. Love, Obasan. Ah, oh, it is my old Taketombo. It's pretty. What's a Taketombo? <laughs> I will show you. It's wonderful! May I try? Of course. Like this? <laughs> may I take it to school tomorrow for In the Spotlight? You certainly may. It is very special. Two to one! Get ready to run! Uh, got it! <laughs> I never miss! I did it! Good shot, Charles. Hey, where did my orange marble go? It's my favorite one. I think this is yours, Timothy. Thanks, Yoko. This one's special. My dad gave it to me. I brought something special today, too. My grandmother sent it to me all the way from Japan. Wow. What does it do? Recess is over, boys and girls. Oh, <laughs> you'll see when I do my In the Spotlight. Okay, everyone put away your things, then sit down under the learning tree. It's Yoko's turn for In the Spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up, Fred. One, two, me to you. <clears throat> oh, that was close. Frank and Frank, put your football in the cloakroom, please. You know we don't play football inside. Yes, yes Mrs. Jenkins. Jenkins. Uh, I'll put it away. Throw me a running pass. Okay, but you better not miss. I never miss. Oops. Oh. <gasps> I, I missed. Frank and Frank, you've broken Yoko's take tombo. What do you say to Yoko? Um... Sorry, Yoko. 
Yeah, we're, we're so sorry. We, we didn't mean to break it. I'm sorry, Yoko. Perhaps your mother can help you fix this. Let me help you pick up the broken pieces. We won't have in the spotlight today. Ah, oh, you wrecked everything, Frank and Frank. Her grandmother sent that to her all the way from Japan. Poor Yoko. Ah, no more in the spotlight. Quick sticks, everyone find a shape to sit on and we'll have a story now. Yoko, would you like to help me pick out a book? Guess what's for dinner, boys? I don't know. Oh, come on. Not even a guess? Well, you're in luck. It's stewed brontosaurus with Brussels sprouts on the side. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, good. That is great, Dad. All right, so it's Franks and Beans. Isn't that your favorite? Great. Franks and Beans. That is good. So, uh, how was school today? Fine. Anything special happen? No. Well, we were supposed to have it in the spotlight, but... We had a story and said it was about the fire truck, and then there was a, a fire, and we all got to go, uh... Like that. Well, that's great, Frank, but, but uh, why didn't you have in the spotlight? Yoko was going to show us her toy, but it got broken. It got broken? It was an accident! Is there something you boys want to tell me? We, we broke it. We were playing football when we weren't supposed to. And we made Yoko feel really bad. I see. Well, do you feel sorry? Very sorry. Really, really sorry. And did you say sorry to Yoko? Uh-huh. Yes, we did. Well, then I guess there's only one thing left to do. What, what Dad? Dad? Finish the three sorries. Three sorries? I have never heard of the three sorries. Well, first there's feeling sorry, second there's saying sorry, and third there's doing something to show you're sorry. Oh. Then what? Well, then Yoko feels better, and then you'll feel better too. I want to do all three stories. Me too, but how do we show Yoko we are sorry? Let's get in the truck, boys. Oh, ah, hooray! Hooray! Oh! Hello. Good evening, Big Frank. And Frank. And Frank. Please come in. Thank you. This is good lemonade. Yes, this is very good lemonade. Thank you. <clears throat> we we uh, came over because of what happened in school today. Oh, yes. The Takitombo. It is such a shame. The boys have something they want to ask you, Yoko. We want to fix your take tag to Takitombo. Can we? I'll supervise all the repairs myself. I, I've fixed so many things since the boys learned to walk that, well, <laughs> I've become something of an expert. Dad is a great fixer. He will help us fix it. Well, Cherry Blossom, what do you think? All right. Perhaps we should put the pieces in this, so none will get lost. Do you think the glue is dry? It should be dry by now. Is it alright to take off the clamps? Yes, I think so. Be careful, Frank. Very good, boys. Yeah! We did it! You've done a terrific job, boys. 
I can't even tell it was broken. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for helping, Dad. Hmm. You know, I think there might be something else we can do for Yoko. Something else? Okay. I would like to do something else. All right, then. Let's get to work. Gather around the learning tree, children. It's time for In the Spotlight. Boys and girls, Yoko is going to show and tell us about a very special toy. Yoko? This is a toy that my grandmother sent me from Japan. It was made by my grandfather for my mother when she was small, and now it belongs to me. It's called a taketombo. A taka what? A taketombo. In Japanese, it means bamboo dragonfly. A bamboo dragonfly? Why is it called that? I'll show you. Interesting. I wish I had one. You will have one. Really? We will? Frank and Frank, would you like to show everyone what you brought for In the Spotlight? Okay. Okay. We're going to make taketombos, like yoga's. Uh, just you guys? No, everybody. All of us. Wow. wow. Oh. <gasps> That's great. Wow, look at all the this stuff. This is going to be the best. Frank and Frank know all about taketombos. They did a good job of fixing mine. <laughs> uh, that helped. Yeah, that helped us. Mine looks like a candy cane. Make sure you paint both sides, Grace. I'm painting mine to look like a real dragonfly. Timothy, make sure you hold it tight while the glue dries. Okay. What do you think, Yoko? Should I add some sparkles? Oh, yes. That would be pretty. They're all pretty. Me? about right now. Yay! Yay! Are you ready, Yoko? Ready, Mrs. Jenkins. Is everybody ready? Ready! One, two, three! Lily? Yes, Mrs. Jenkins? Did you remember to bring your permission slip back today? Oh, yes, I did. I put it in my pocket so I'd remember to give it to you. Thank you, Lily. You're welcome. Boys and girls, we now have permission slips from everyone. Yeah! We're going to have a wonderful time exploring Hilltop Park. I'm going to bring a blanket to sit on and an extra snack. That's a very good idea, Grace. I'm going to bring my bug jar. I'm going to collect wild flowers. I have to find a ribbon. What for? To tie around my finger so I remember to bring a blanket to sit on and an extra snack, just like Grace. Good idea, Lily. you have a ribbon, Fritz? No, but I can help you look for one. I'm going to bring my binoculars to Hilltop Park. Sorry, Lily. I don't see any ribbon. Okay. I'm bringing this fishing net to catch tadpoles. That sounds like fun. I wish I had a net. Here, Doris. Now you and Nora can fish together. Great! Thanks, Lily! You're welcome! 
Do you have any extra ribbon, Charles? Sure. Thanks. I'm going to bring my new kite to Hilltop Park, Lily. What are you going to bring? A blanket to sit on and an extra snack. You need to bring more than that for a field trip. You need bug spray and sunscreen and a flashlight, just in case. I don't have enough fingers to remember all that. Don't worry, Lily. I'll bring enough for everyone. You always know what to do, Grace. You can sit next to me on the bus if you like. Thanks, Grace. Charles is bringing his kite, and Timothy's bringing his bug jar. And best of all, I get to be Grace's special friend and sit next to her on the bus. You have a busy day tomorrow. Let's remember everything you need. Don't worry, Mama. We won't forget. We won't. <laughs> Mama. Yes, Lily? Did I tell you I'm going to be Grace's special friend? Yes, dear. Night, night. Grace knows all about going to the park. Bug spray, check. Flashlight, check. Raincoat, blanket, and an extra snack. Check, check, and double check. <laughs> You've certainly thought of everything, Grace. Thanks, Mom. Bedtime. You have a busy day tomorrow. I know. Good night, Mom. Good night, Grace. <laughs> Lily, the bus is here. Look, Mama, I remembered the blanket to sit on and the extra snack. Well, we won't be needing this anymore. Good remembering, Lily. Thanks, Mama. Come on, Lily. Just one more stop and it's off to Hilltop Park. I think everyone is very lucky to have you along on the field trip, dear. Me too. Hello, Grace. Hi, Henry. See you later, Mom. Bye, Grace. Next stop, Hilltop Park. It's here, Grace. It's too sunny. We'll get hot. I think the best campsite would be under that shady tree. Wow! This is the best spot, Grace. You can see the whole park. Let's go play. Charles said we can fly his kite if we want to. I want to set up camp first. You go. Okay. Hi, Charles. Hi, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Grace. Come and try. I want to unpack my backpack first. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, everyone buddy up for a nature walk. Grace, you can be my buddy. All right. Who can tell me the name of these flowers? They're called tulips. Well done, Grace. What's this flower called? That's a dandelion, and it's a weed. Right again, Grace. But some weeds, like dandelions, are flowers too. Mmm, smell the flowers. Their sweet scent and bright color attracts the bees. Hey, they smell like Mama's perfume. Come and try, Grace. 
I already have tulips checked off in my field guide, so I don't need to smell them. Look! There's a bug on me! Don't worry, Lily. I've got some cream for bug bites. That's okay, Grace. It's just a ladybug. And there it goes! Weren't the flowers beautiful, Grace? Yes, and I checked off four new flowers in my field guide. Sorry, Grace. I keep getting crumbs on your blanket. Oh, crumbs are allowed on a picnic. Ew, but not ants. I know. Let's follow them back to their anthill. I want to move my stuff away from them first. Okay. Lily, have you lost something? No, Mrs. Jenkins, I found something. Ants. Do you think the ants would like some of my sandwich? Try and see. They like it. I have to tell Grace. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm over here, Lily. Wow, that was fast. Grace, the ants ate my sandwich. Look how fast I moved our stuff. Ooh, I'm hot. I know. Let's get ice cream. Okay. I love ice cream. Me too. Why do you have two ice creams, Yoko? I'm waiting for Timothy. Henry took him for a boat ride. Hilltop Park is fun! Are you having fun, Grace? <gasps> a bee! Shoo, bee! Shoo! If you stay still, the bee will just go away. <gasps> it worked, Grace! Of course it worked. Grace always knows what to do. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> Who wants to go for a boat ride? I do, I do. Now, you need to wear a safety vest, Lily. Here you go, Lily. Can Grace come too? There's only room for one at a time now. You go first. I want to finish my ice cream. Okay. Look, Henry, ducks! Whoa, look at that! Quack, quack, quack! <laughs> quack, quack, quack! Thanks, Henry! Wait until I tell Grace! 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 Come see the baby ducks! Baby ducks are called ducklings, Lily. Are you moving camp again? No, I'm packing up before it rains. Quick sticks, children. Everyone back on the bus, please. Hurry! Oh! <laughs> Hurry! We're going to get wet! <laughs> I'm all wet! Me too. Not me. I brought my raincoat just in case. Good planning, Grace. You thought of everything. Well, it doesn't look like this rain is going to let up, boys and girls. We're going to have to say goodbye to Hilltop Park for today. Aww. I hope everyone had a wonderful time. I had a great time. We caught a tadpole, see? I went on a boat ride. And I collected wildflowers. What's the matter, Lily? Didn't you have fun today? I did, but you didn't. I didn't? 
No, you didn't fly a kite, and you didn't stop and smell the flowers, and you didn't find an anthill, and you didn't go on a boat ride, and you didn't see any ducklings. But I picked the best spot to make camp, and I checked off four new flowers in my field guide, and I moved camp really quickly, and I had ice cream, and I said it was going to rain, and I was the only one who didn't get wet. Was it fun? I had a wonderful time. Me too!